in the last class we saw the extract and pump and all and how a pump is really important so if you don't have a pump you are inviting a lot of troubles and especially in your production please have pump pump okay now uh, golden gate okay now this is like just a normal one like a network so normally we use tcp ip and i mean if you want we have an uh, you know option to compress and encrypt and all but that is only based on your requirement of the client a very standard one like in the pump we have to parameters that is rmt host all right and rmt trail so based on that only it will uh, understand let me see if i have any of the upper documents okay i'll use this one so the thing is in pump we have all the information and here is where is the network actually here all right now the replicate part actually so in gg what i have seen is like the major issues or failure it happens at the tire over replicate and only because extract very rare rare issues and in over replicate yes we see the maximum ones the thing is over replicate is for nothing but just a process here is your here is in my over replicate it is just reading from the trail file sent for sent by the pump and over writing to the target it is just like an sql apply sql apply now another day like uh, thing is like it will not uh, uh, i know uh, i mean apply the process in the out say serial order it will not it will group the transactions and also so so that you know we can have the maximum performance but yes at the same time it will ensure the acid properties means it is not like suppose if a, a transaction a has been updated and b has not been committed and all so you won't see b ahead you know so it will be that way so it will maintain that order but yes uh, it's like for example um for this we have seen it actually in source side for transaction 1 suppose it is uh, committed at 10 am transaction 2 committed at 10:30 am all right so in the target end target side yeah in the target side would there can be a case where both transaction 1 and transaction 2 are applied at the same time so so that is the way actually all right because the replicate will uh, identify all the transactions which are not uh, dependent on each other and it can group every one of them and it it can i mean apply as a batch also because we had faced one issues where the application side were trying to do some for logic as per the commit order in the source side so what we were observing that for these two transactions of course the scn will not be same right but in the tar in the target side the A scn of these two transactions were same actually because they were grouped in as one transaction here so the replicate will do all these things internally but yes if you want to 
not do that way and use the I mean exact order as in source then then of course we have waste but that will be at the cost of the speed actually because the performance will not be there and you might expect to see some lag also so just I'm saying like for this can be asked in interviews and all like how the replicate is applying so but replicate will not apply in the exactly same order it can also group the I mean the tra transactions at the source end and uh, apply them as one but yes at the end it will maintain the acid uh, properties so that is there well, that is guaranteed actually by Oracle if you see some documents or like a basic uh, theory of per replicate Oracle guarantees that the data will be seen so oh, that's how it is anything up till now is it okay clear is it something new Yes, can you please say, repeat one second? Okay, again I'll say. Mm. This is a source end, okay? We have transaction one committed, okay? All these are committed only okay committed at 10 a.m. TI action 2 at 10 10 a.m. then at transaction 3 I have for example at 10 20 a.m. you know kind of this way transaction 2 1 10 10 15 DNAM. okay is this fine so in the source side we are having this three four transactions and all them are committed within the span of 20 minutes okay now Now the target end. Committed. Now here, what I am trying to say is that, for example, in the source side, now this is the order, right? Uh, per transaction one will is committed first, then uh, per transaction two, then Two, one, and then three. So, thing is, all these three transactions will have some different SCNs, right? Yes, good. But what will the replicate do? It's like the replicate, ideally, basic. I mean, as a our default behavior. It will group the or uh, group the group all the transactions which it can and apply them as single transaction in the target. Am I clear? So if what it can do is it can apply, for example, transaction one, two. Two, one, three, all as one transaction in the target. So thing is, all these transactions, all these will have, like here, single SCN of single single SCN since they are grouped as one transaction. Is it okay, clear? 
okay so for example now so thing is uh, that is why the replicate is performing really well actually because if it was to apply serially then of course i mean it will we will face uh, latency and all then we will be totally at the mercy of the pump side so the pump has to be really fast to send everything and all so here is how we you know accommodate for the issues of the network also but yes suppose if you want the replicate to apply exactly the same way as the source then yes we have ways for that also just i mean i'm saying pascal like is uh, having some issues uh, i'm not sure like anyways okay uh yeah i was like right. so if like uh, so far, yeah. we are having that transaction 2 1 okay mm-hmm. 1 1 2 and 2 1 3 is there okay 1 2 3 as are committed at 10 20 okay mm-hmm. but uh, the transaction 2 1 is committed at uh, 10 10 only okay so first uh, i mean to say that uh, transaction 1 2 or uh, uh, updated earlier but it has mm-hmm. not been uh, committed but a uh, transaction 2 1 is uh, committed a uh, last uh, updated lastly and committed mm-hmm. first so in this scenario how it will act okay so thing is all these things what i am saying they will be written to the trail file right by the extract yes it will be written to the extract right so now here is how it will be written in the so the replicate will read that order here see at the end in the trail file you will have only committed ones right yes so now uh, what, what what you said suppose if you have a transaction 3 oh no what transaction 1 we started at suppose 10 am and committed at um, for last yes right yes and you have some uh, transactions to which started after 10 like for example 10 5 am and this is what transaction one okay this will not be confusing so committed at 10 10 okay yes. is this the way you are asking all right so what will have happen here now forget the for oh, replicate for now so for transaction 20 will be for return first to the local trail right yes then because it was committed first then we'll have proper transaction 1 for return to the proper local rail for example at 10 20 am so at the end in my trail file how i'm having i'm having to have transaction 20 first and transaction 1 even though one was started earlier Yes, understand. It has not not committed. So, yes. So no no. Now it is. I mean, uh, yeah. committed, na? Yes, now. yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So the, this, for example, what this is the way it will be uh, written to the local trail. Now when this is passed on to the remote trail here, now now the replicate will group them as one and apply it. what will the replicate do it will try to find the the set of transactions like based on suppose if you have a based on the operations also it will try to group insert in one i mean all the inserts at one as one all the updates as one etc and then it will apply or it will use the group trans so it will what it will do it will try to accommodate those transactions which are not related to each other means uh, which can be fired parallelly at once 
for example if you have a parent and child so here in this case it cannot apply the parent and child in parallel it has to be first the parent and then the child right but but in case of those i mean uh, transactions where it can be run in parallel so that it will group so here uh, what will happen this transaction will be committed as single transaction in the target so like now here in the target is also suppose oracle so if you are committing any row in the target also so that will also have one scn of the target for i mean so but this will have same scn the over transaction 20 and over transaction one b because for the target it is grouped as one but yes in terms of data everything will be guaranteed so that is the internal working uh, of the replicate so in short the replicate is not going to work in serial even if you don't add any tuning parameters it will still be not serial to make it serial now there are two para I mean, uh, pa parameters which don't use it until it is recommended group trans of as one and max trans of as one okay so this i will not explain now okay i'll leave it for the later class because then we'll go in the tu tuning only straight away right just uh, one more query on this yeah yeah if please. it is uh, if that rail is applying in a group of the group of the transactions it may be mm. delayed right suppose one transaction is as a i understand i understand i but no no but that is very minimal actually because all this transaction details are there in the redo yes it is right there. and extract will straight away scan all the i mean uh, redo hai na? so mm -hmm. all these stuffs are really fast actually even if it is uh, written in the trail uh, even a bit slower so what that can be taken care by the replicate so all these are actually internal it's like how the software software works over real fast that is more of the internal one what you said is i mean a uh, valid one actually because because uh, for example if it is trying to group all the transactions then unnecessary it is uh, wasting time also right yes. so that is how they are um, managing internally okay so but there is a trade off also so that details i am not aware because what that is the so software stuff and and to know that then we have to ask the oracle only through an sr see how exactly the replicate does because what we face the issue is like the application folks okay so what would these guys what would they were trying to do uh, like now every this row we will uh, will have one scn right yes. from the source yeah. side so that will be stored in the trails also so that information so what yeah. these guys were doing based on the scn order here yeah okay they were they would they had some uh, functions at the target end so uh, but the issue is like i mean so thing is what what they were expecting like in the same order it should be applied in the target but here what was happening that replicate grouped all these four as one and uh, i mean applied in the target so what happened here like the all these four had one 
SCN only, and that was here. I mean, so it gave the error to them like uh, you know uh, what is that single row uh, return more than one. One one. Query. Yes yes yes. Got Query. it. Query. So that one. I mean, like I don't know the exact uh, procedure, like what was there internally, but yes. So what they were expecting for one. I see, and as per their logic, they were, they, I mean, expecting only one transaction, but it came out like all these four, since they were applied as single, single transaction thing. here, so they had the same SCN in the, tar I mean, tar target. So, so that is when uh, we spoke with Oracle and all, and then we understood, okay, fine. Then if, I mean, what they said that, it is a default for the for replicate to handle all these things. So it will internally group. But then we ask them that we don't want it to work as it is, uh, you know, uh, default. Group, so, yeah. yeah. So that's what they said then. Okay. If you want to make it serial, then yes. Well, these are the two options. So what it will do, group trans of. A group trans means now one. I, I, I gave us one. So it means that, you know, suppose if you have two transactions, do not group them. We we'll just have one each. For example, yes. if I'm having 100, so what, what this will try, it will try to group 100 transactions as one group. But I do, but I gave here one only. One only. So when I gave, so it has to be one transaction is one group. Okay. And even here in the max trans of, like now for example one transaction. Um, let me open a new one. So transaction, one transaction. It might have many statements, right? Like yes. insert, second also okay. insert, third also uh, any anything. Okay, anything, yes. It can yeah. be anything. Right. So my so when I say max trans of one, it means that it will. It when I say max trans of one, it it means it will apply each of these states statements one by one. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but by default, what suppose if you give only group trans of as one, so it will apply the whole statement of that transaction as one. But even in this, if I want to go serially. Then it is max trans of one. But yes, if you do that way, your performance will serially, you know, go off the charts. And this is only if if your client is having any, I mean, requirement, requirement. special one. Okay. But normally, client what they want, they they want only the data. So if that is the thing, there is no need to use this, this one. So this is for replicate serialization. S E A R. Okay. Only if you need that, then yes, please so go, go for this. Else, it is fine. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Anything here? Yeah, it's okay. clear. All right, because all these things actually there is a uh, nothing to do with the practical bus yet. Well, it can be asked in the interviews and all, like just to understand. Anyways, as you can see, uh, the replicate process runs on the target, reads the trail on that system, and then reconstructs the DML or DDL operation and apply them. To the target. One second. Uh, 
I think it's having some one second. Where is the Bluetooth meeting? Yeah, I, this okay. Yeah, where is the slide? One second, yeah, sorry. Okay, uh, thing is, yes, so it will reconstruct the DTM. Okay, is, is it still not? It's okay. You, you can view it, but it is small. Oh, it is small. Okay, just a second. Got that. Yeah, yeah fine, fine. Is it okay now? Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. The thing is, for replicate runs on the target system, reads the trail on that system. When I say reads the trail on that system, it means this trail which was sent by the pump here. Because this trail is uh, mostly in the target only. All these are at the source server end and all these are at the target. And they reconstruct the DML or DDL operations and apply them to the target database. If necessary, basic transformation at the row level can be applied either at the delivery or capturing. So, thing is like, as I told you, it will reconstruct everything. So, it might change the order also but yes the acid properties it will be maintained all right and also if you need to do any additional uh, transformation or like uh, as i told you like one example uh, for example uh, if you have a gg setup from japan and india the thing is all these countries like japan and uh, China, they are very protective of their data. So thing is, they want to transform the data, you know, at some end. So at that point, either at the extract end or the replicate end, you can do it. How? Thing is, they prepare some stored procedures, all right, and they call them in the replicate end. So it is like not much with us. It's all their logic actually. So all these things, transformation and all, it mostly comes to the app team and not us, because we don't make. I mean, uh, we don't make the. I mean, the functions or the procedures, right? So all these things. It can be called at the replicate end also, but I mean, I have not seen a case where we have to do the PLSQL uh, stuff and all. But yes, what I have seen, it is there on the app team only. Okay, now even in replicate, like as we had yeah. seen for the, yeah. Yeah, please. Is there it. any parameters uh, for encrypting uh, the data of, from transferring from the local trail to the remote? Yeah, yeah. we have. But, uh, yeah, uh, we. I mean, we need to call the. Uh, I mean, procedures. So yes, uh, we have this like SQL exec and all. So we have the parameters. It is not a basic transformation. So we have such parameters like SQL exec and then you call the procedures and all here. I'll try to show you some basic one, okay, the syntaxes and all afterwards. Okay, yeah, thank you. And also in the uh, for replicate end, and now like since as we saw for the extract. Let me see if I stored that document. Mm. Uh, 
okay this is a different one anyways as we saw for the extract here that we also have initial load extract yeah initial load extract we have so in the same way on the same lines we have the initial load of the replicate also So initial load for replicate. Now used in coordination of initial load extract during initial load phase. For regular for replicate with initial load. So we can also use for regular for replicate used during change of the, uh, synchronization for initial load also. So actually there are uh, two ways only but we can so we what we have done in our environment the source target all this I will show in the practical actually because this will help you because we normally the standard ones which we use is the initial load the golden gate property initial load extract and initial load over replicate and the data pump but what we use here we use the initial load extract with the regular for replicate so that helps to speed up the things even more actually for us so suppose this is initial load initial load extract This is the first method I'm saying, okay? I'm just showing you the graphical way so that once I start the practical, it will make sense. Also, I will oh, repeat the same there in the practical also with just a brief. Okay, so the thing is you have here a initial load extract and initial load over replicate. And for example, you have some tables here. Let me just this green lines are some tables, okay? So as you know, what will initial load extract do? Okay, I want to ask you, does initial load extract requires archive or redo? It's required uh, archive. Okay, it is required. Others? Oh, well, these are for the interview stuff also and how much you understood. So everyone, like, if you can answer me, please. Bhaskar, Babu, does initial load extract require uh, redo or archives? Yes or no? Yes, it's required. Okay, require redo and archive. Okay, so it means that my okay and uh, who was it? Okay, Babaskar. I mean Babu. Yeah, it's Babu. For you. Yes. So for so for what is this? Yes or no? It's yes. Yeah, it's required redo or archive. Okay, okay, guys. Why? Any idea? That's how it reads the data, right? From the source. It I'm asking it. about initial load extract, not the regular one. Initial load we are doing using the data pump, right? For example, if you have source as, I mean, suppose if you have SQL server and Sybase, then how will you do it? Okay, that means um, for the initial load, it, it, it reads directly from the database, right? I don't think we need a. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is what I am expecting, guys. Come on. I, I think I explained in the previous class why initial load, how it works, and all. For example, if your table is there for three, I mean, two, three 
years and after that if you want to set up the OGG so if you are doing the I mean the initial load extract and if it would and if it had prepared the uh, I mean the archives and all so it will have to go two three years back right so you will have to store all the archives of those many years are you understanding would you know so so we can be tricked this way also in interviews so initial load extract it does not require redo or archive because it is directly going to the database and extracting yes yeah others Paskar uh, Sayed is it okay uh, yeah see, I'm agree with that. Uh, okay yeah so this you see the for recording also of the I mean I think it was on Friday or Thursday I don't remember now okay so please do that anyways uh, okay so right so where was I uh, I'll take the blue and okay so here suppose all these green ones are tables okay so thing is the initial load extract will directly go color it did not change hmm. initial load extract will directly go to the database read them and it directly over the network it will give to the per applicant here and over and this one will, will directly apply in the target this is one way this is one way of initial load in which there is here will there won't be any trails and all so no trails and this is transferred over one network only image like this data transferred over network only okay clear This is just I am explaining the logical because but later I'll explain how to actually achieve it. So yes, and since the this one I have not actually used it in a pr production. I mean I avoid it. Very simple. Because if case any network stuff any failure, then it is again I'll have to start. And yes, this is another question if initial load extract fails in between from which point will it start again so this I will explain more in the checkpoint class this is just I'm keeping here so, so that I can explain you this also oh this is okay Okay, no real data transfer on it. All right, fine. But just a second. Now, second way, as you all know, that is that is export and import. Simple, you will do an export from here, and you will do an import. So I'll explain how we do that also. Okay. Okay, I used a big one. A second. Small is enough for this. Expdp in the source side and the target side. Impdp. So whenever your source and target are oracle, always, always, always go for this. It's the fastest, actually. Okay. Now the third part, which. Uh, we can use it so what I'll be having again I'll be having the same thing this one only initial load extract only okay initial load 
extract here and as you know it will just it will directly read from the database now what it will do it will read from the database and it will write to the RMT trails here All right, and here you have the regular replicate, regular replicate, and you can make this replicate read these trail files and write to the target. So this is another way. Is it okay? Clear? Okay, others? Okay, Babu, what about uh, Sayyid and uh, Bhaskar? Okay, great, thank you. Just a second. Okay. So that is what it means actually. For regular uh, for replicate, we can also use for regular for replicate used during change uh, for synchronization for initial load also. And the standard ones, as you know, for regular for replicate is like reads the data from the trail file sent from the source applies the same on the target database based on its parameter file. You can use the replicate process with multiple extract process in parallel to increase the total output. To preserve the data integrity, each set of process handles a different set of objects. So I think uh, I, I would have told you earlier also like when you want to group the replicates or the extracts the parent and child should be in one group itself because if you put parent and child in different uh, replicate groups then it, it won't be aware of the relation and yes well, there might be a case where parent is sorry, where the child for record comes first, then the, the parent, and then it will fail with the error. Any doubt up till now? 